Have you ever wanted to be a dip chisel? I know I have. For those of you that don't know what dip chisels are, look them up. Um, probably the best way to be a dip chisel is do something with regards to punishment. Because when you have punishment, if you do not teach a replacement response, or if you don't completely extinguish the behavior, you're not going to punish and extinguish at the same time. It doesn't make flipping sense. Now you could, but it's just, yeah. It's like, you, you, no. Anyway, so if you've got a person on punishment, right? You could, that's, my brain's going there. Anyway, <laughs> all right, gotta punish myself. Mm, there we go, all right. Um, so now I'm gonna replace my behavior because I'm a good behavior analyst. So the behavior that I'm trying to teach you about, or the skill thing is like recovery from a punishment procedure. What happens is if we put you on punishment, if I'm suppressing a response, which is what punishment does, then I go, oh, I'm not gonna punish anymore because I got the behavior under control. Yeah, guess what? <laughs> Pops right back up in place. When we're doing nation building and you know and uh, building empires around the world, we often say that if you if you remove the person of power, you create a power vacuum. <laughs> Usually, all sorts of weird stuff gets sucked into those power vacuums. Well, guess what? That's largely what punishment. What happens with punishment? If I punish a behavior and I don't put something in its place that is a desirable response that fills the same gap in terms of the uh, um, the reinforcer, then that uh, another problem behavior will probably pipe right back in there. Right. So recovery from punishment procedure. Problem behaviors come back because you didn't do it right.